You can find thousands of different themes for WordPress, both free and paid. Some people still want to give a stab at creating their own, though, and don't know how. If that sounds like you, then check out the best free WordPress theme generator I've found. It's called Lubith. Visit lubith.com, sign up, and sign in. After that, click Start Here to get going. This opens the web-based editor, showing a base theme to the right and editing tools to the left. Lubith has a good tutorial section, but I think we'll jump in and start working on our own. Let's try to change the background of our site. We could add an image. We'll just go to background color. I like the color picker here. It's better than any of the others I saw. Both RGB, HSB, I can put in as a hex color or pick interactively. Put in the color I want. There we go. We have our background color now. That was pretty easy. Let's pick an element to change. Select the site name. Click. The orange handle allows you to move that element around in the template. The green handle allows you to resize the element. We want to change the text here. So with it selected, we go to Type, Text Style. Many fonts here. We'll change it to Arial Black, Properties, normal variant. Now watch as I change the font size you'll see the element interactively uh, change to show me exactly what it looks like. I'm going up to 36 on purpose. Looks pretty good. I won't add a shadow. I am going to change the color of the type. Again under type we'll use text color. That blue I don't always have to enter that big palette. Let's select Site Description. I only want to increase the type size. So if I go over Type, I can go straight to Font Size and bump it up to about 16 right there without having to go into these other palettes. Let's style the navigation menu. I really like this. We click here to select the entire menu. I want that type to be bigger and bold. So with the menu selected, we go to Type, I'll make it bold, and I'll simply bump the font size up a little bit, and I'm done. That's really cool. Now, if I want to change the individual items here, I can click, say, on the normal menu when it's just sitting there, no one's touching it, and I want to change its color. There, I changed the background color. I should change that type color to white. Pretty good. Now, this is what the menu items look like when you mouse over them. I'll change that color also. Nice. Now, this one shows us the submenu panel that pops out. I can change any of these colors and so forth. Let's click the entire submenu and change its color to match that over background color. Then we'll change these individual menus in here the same way. Now you see we have these all styled up. And finally, the last one, pressed. That also is the color for the current page. If I'm on a current page and the menu item is visible, it will show this color. Well, that looks pretty good. But these submenu items, I don't like the space on either side. Well, those are controlled by the padding on the submenu itself. Here we've selected the submenu. We go to Tools, Padding, and we can actually click and drag to change the padding here. I'm going to get rid of all the padding, I think. There's no need for me to see that blue background around it. Let's work on the sidebar a bit. This entire unit is the sidebar, and it 
displays individual widgets. I want to change the font of the widget title. So we select one of the widget titles, go under Type, Text Style. Let's change it to Impact, Normal. Notice interactively we're moving that up. We're going to 32, I think. Notice all of these titles are changing. That's because we don't style individual widget titles. We're looking for consistency here. So this is a good thing. Those are all changed the way I want them. But this is a little close. The content of the box is a little close. So I'm going to click. This is the widget content. I can grab the orange handle to move it. And again, notice how it moves all of the widget content items. Again, for consistency. We can hide and show certain elements in our template. Let's go to Tools, Add, Remove. We'll see here. Post Meta, this appears right below the title of our post. It has the date and the author, usually. You can turn that on and off. Post Utility, that is beneath our post content. It has a category, any tags, a comment, tools. Not a big deal. We can add a second sidebar if we want. Tools, Add, Remove, Sidebar 2. There it is, but we need somewhere to put it. Let's try to put it to the left of our main content area. The problem is main content is too big. So I need to make it narrower. Let's click it, grab the resize handle, but it won't do it for me. A little counterintuitive, but what's happening is the content inside the main area is forcing the width. So I'll select just any of these main content elements and resize one of those. You see what happens is now it's resizing the whole main content area, which I can move over now and make room for our second sidebar. No problem. We don't have a logo yet. Let's add one. Tools, Add, Remove. Just turn on the logo option right there. Then you can select that element. We could go change its background with our own logo. Then we can resize that as needed. Editing your theme this way is so easy, but you're not actually changing a WordPress site. The cool thing is we can click Test Theme to go test the resulting theme in a real WordPress installation. Right here live, we see what it's going to look like. Not too bad. Then we can click Back to Editor to make more changes or to get ready to save. Before you download your theme, you should probably change some information. Under File, Theme Details, at least you should change the theme name because this will show in your WordPress installation. You can change any of these other items as well. Click Save, File Save, and you're done. When you're ready to download the theme and use it on your own site, just click the Download button at the top of the toolbar. I unzipped the theme download, and here's the contents of the folder. First thing I did was open one of these files. I expected the contents to be all over the place with no rhyme or reason. A lot of generators don't bother formatting code. I was pleasantly surprised. As I opened it, everything was logically indented just the way I would have done it. Install and activate your theme just like you would any other. Then let's go check out the page. Well, it looks pretty good, just like we designed it. I was pleasantly surprised by the Lubeth theme editor. Really, it's very easy to use. It has a fantastic user interface. The site has really good tutorials, and the paid version allows to have editor styles, extra page templates, a ton of web fonts, and some other good stuff. But you don't really have to use that. The free version is just fine. As with anything, there's room for improvement. I noticed there's no undo feature. If I remove a background image or change a color and I want to go back, I couldn't do that. The themes as generated are not mobile ready. This isn't going to work on your smartphone. 
I also noticed we had no opportunity to style all the different content element types. Most of your headers, block quote, unordered list, ordered list, all those, we didn't have a chance to style them and I don't know why. Allowing an optional full width area above the main content area would add us a lot of layout flexibility. Allowing sidebars in the footer would also be more in line with today's expectations. I don't know why they weren't there. WordPress custom headers should be supported. That won't be hard. I also noticed post thumbnails are supported in the editor, but they don't show anywhere on the templates. Finally, the tutorial is really fantastic, but it could be even better by using more images and some video. Lubeth really is the best free WordPress theme generator I've seen. Go check it out and let me know what you think.